Good evening. I am Fred Herbert, an agent with Life Alert. I'm calling, and I can't get up. Maybe you should be more prepared for the call. You fucking that. <laughs> yeah, you woke me up too. I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna keep calling back. Hello. 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 I am Fred Herbert, an agent with Life Alert. Are you interested in getting Life Alert today? Are you fucking serious, man? Excuse me? I'm. It's fucking midnight at my house, and you woke me up. What? What is this shit? Life Alert? Are you fucking serious? Well, I I, I don't know, sir. You um, called me. It's two thousand dollars. Wow. Am I right? You're you, there's two thousand dollars. What? Yeah. Now there could maybe be five hundred dollars discounts available right now. What? You, you woke want me up for what? I am an agent with Life Alert. Maybe you should be more prepared for the call. Maybe I should be more prepared. Maybe I should get up at midnight and fucking be more prepared for the call. Is that well, what I, I know, but I, I, that's why I told you that. We have somebody here 24 hours a day. You motherfucker. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Excuse oh, you. God. I'm the... You fucking asshole. I have fucking audience. Sir, when you're ready to give me the information yeah. so that I can help you... Life works. Hurry up. Yes. Yes, hello. I am an agent with Life Alert. Okay. We have some discounts available, but I don't know what you qualify for or her. Okay. Well, where we live right now, it is midnight. So, um, where are you from? Is, well, I'm in California. Okay, so California is only like a two-hour difference. So it's yeah. like 10 or something there? Yes. Okay. I don't understand Sir, why. Sir, when you're ready to you're give me to the me. information yeah. so that I can help you. Hello. Sir. Yeah. You got to tell me something? Are you interested in getting life alert today? No! Wow. Excuse me? Yes. Hello. Sure, sure. I'm... It could cost as much as 10%, which would be $2,500. I am not interested. Excuse me? I'm not interested. Put me on the do not call list. Uh, I did? Why are you acting Thank like you. this? Hello? Sir? It yes. could cost as much as 10%, which would be $2,500. Now, you could probably put a down payment and make payments, but that's what it's going to cost you. No, I do, I, do, uh, I do exchange diabetic test strips for cash, though, if you want that. Are you a diabetic? Yes. What type of uh, diabetic test strips do you happen to use or insulin pens? Excuse me? Are you a diabetic, sir? Yes. Do you happen to take insulin pens and or uh, diabetic test strips? Yes. Okay. Well, if you happen to have those particular type of products and they are 10 months until expiration, and they're, they are in good mint condition, and you don't plan on using them, you can exchange them with cash today. Wow. Is that right? Yes, sir. Mm. Are, you, are you are you located in, are, are you a, a citizen of Tulsa, Oklahoma? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of the times people tend to 
look in that and here to see that it may sound illegal, but if you totally look it up, you can see that you are able to sell and resell your products that you no longer use for extra cash. Mm. Is it $500? Yes, sir. The prices does range ranges between 100 to $500, depending on the products that you do have. Wow, that's very interesting, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, I believe you have my number. You called me up. Yes. Yeah. You want to spend that kind of money? Uh, you, you will have to take pictures of your uh, products first. Okay. You called me regarding some... bestiality. I'm sorry? You called me regarding bestiality. Do you remember that? Uh, no, I do not. Wow. What is that? Google bestiality. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you devil worship? Excuse me? Are you a devil worshiper? <laughs> You're very rude. No. So you do bestiality, but you don't devil worship? Yeah. Aggravated <laughs> sexual assault with a uh, horse. Ah, uh, you're a rookie. How you not devil worship but do bestiality, sir? <laughs> so I don't know. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> All right, my wife is bugging me, man. I'm gonna have to hit you up later on, man. I'll talk to you later. You want to have a relationship with me, sir? Absolutely not. You have a good one. <laughs> wow. Oh fuck you. Yes, hello. Yes, yeah, me. I am Fred Herbert, an agent with Life Alert. Are you interested in getting Life Alert today? Say that again. I am an agent with Life Alert. Are you interested in getting Life Alert today? No, but why in the fuck are you calling me at 12 o'clock at night? Excuse me? Why are you calling me at 12 o'clock at night? Do you have $2,000? I don't give a fuck if I got $10,000. Why in the fuck are you calling me at 12 o'clock at night? But you've just been angry the entire time. You fucking asshole. Well, you fucking dumb motherfucker. Don't goddamn fucking call people this late at night. Oh, fuck you. Uh, are you mentally ill? Motherfucker. How in the fuck do you think you goddamn get along? Uh, are you smoking weed? Probably got an IQ of about one. Hey, fuck, are you calling me? We have some discounts available, but I don't know what you qualify for or her. You know what? Fuck off. You fucking nut. You are going to pay. You guys are you dicks. Well, you stupid motherfucker. Don't goddamn fucking call people at fucking this late at night. We'll give you the best deal we can. No, you don't, stupid motherfucker. You don't goddamn fucking call people at night, you ignorant bitch. You don't want to spend $500, am I right? Oh. You know what? Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Stupid motherfucker. Do you want to fight me? <laughs> bitch, I will beat your motherfucking ass. Bitch, I'm going to break your fucking neck. You fucking you Fucking come get me. Motherfucker, come fucking get it, bitch. I will beat you to fucking death. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. Good evening. Well, your friend's been in jail since February 8th. His bail's uh, $155,000. Do you have the money mm -hmm. to bail him out? Who am I talking to? Um. Who is it? This is Fred. Fred. I mean, do I know you, Fred? I'm a bail yeah. so I'm not sure what you're talking about. My name's Fred Herbert. Okay. Who are you calling about? So I'm a bail bondsman. I bail people out that can have bail. Well, I'm a bail bondsman, too, so what, what, what are we talking about here? <laughs> yes. I thought you said you're the boyfriend. No. 
I most certainly don't know who you're talking about, sir. I'm a bail bondsman in Cherokee County. What's your friend's name? Uh, are you talking to me? Yes. I don't know what friend you're referring to. I mean, I, I didn't call you, Fred. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Who do you want to bail out? Dude, you called me. I don't have any like idea of what you're talking about. Why are you what? acting like this? Because I don't know what in the hell you're talking about, sir. I'm a bail bondsman in Cherokee County. If you've got somebody down here you want me to bail out, you can call me, but I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, just because uh, John read the receipt wrong to you, you're going to you're gonna act this way? Is this what? your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? I, I have no... Dude, you're going to have to give me some more information because I have no idea what you're talking about. What receipt? You need to give me a client's name. Are you talking about someone I've bailed out? I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. What? I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. Okay. I, I, you're, dude, we're, we're done here. I, I don't know what the hell wow. you're talking about. Why are you acting like this? Hello. I tried to call you back, but your phone was busy. Well, I, I, sir, I, I think you may confused with someone. I have no idea wh who you are or why you're calling me. I have not bonded in. You're coming up as a Wilburton. Are you, I don't know. I don't know what you're, what you're no. calling me for. In fact, I don't know huh? whether I'm really talking to you or my plant. Is well, this really I, I don't know how to. How did you get my number? Let's start with that. Do you remember he had the cockatoo on his shoulder? What? Yeah, he gave, well, he gave me your phone number. Somebody in, that's in jail in your area gave you my phone number? Yes. Compton? Okay, and so are you calling for a reference or something? I mean, I don't even know what county you're from, sir. I, I'm not, I don't know what's going on here. You need to identify yourself to me. It doesn't make I don't sense know who to me. You are. Well, you ought to be me because my phone just rang a number I've never seen before. And I have no idea what you're talking about. So if you'll begin with who you're calling me about, who you are, uh, Fred what, Herbert. why <laughs> you're Fred, a, bail bond, a licensed bail bondsman in Oklahoma? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm Shelly Goodnight. I'm a licensed bail bondsman as well. So did you mean to call me? Yeah. I don't okay, know what's so going we've established. On. What? What? Can you hear me? I cannot hear you. You're coming in and out like Daryl. Let me put you on hold. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, hurry, because I'm my phone blows up just like yours does. Hang on a moment. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line, and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. May I help you? Um, still, I'm, you put me on hold. I don't know. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Hi, this is Brad at Herbert Bellbines. I can't get to my phone right now. Wow. Still holding, Fred, but we need to speed this up. What What do you need from me, buddy? So your first name is Raul? No, no. I, this I is right? obviously a scam. I'm going I'm to hang up now. I don't know who you are no. and why you're calling me. No, please, please. No. Who are you calling me about, Fred? This is it. Tell me now or I'm hanging up. Who are you calling me about? You called me regarding bestiality. What? Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 